Well, this next experiment that Mike Randall from the Wonders of Physics has had me singing good, vi good vibrations from the Beach Boys all week long because it's about <laughs> vibrations. It is about vibrations. It's kind of an annoying vibration, so it's just why we brought a little bit of hearing yes. protection. You might notice a little purple thing in my ear. Yes, disclaimer um, if you have small children or maybe pets well, that might be we'll, irritated by this. We'll see how much it picks up on your television. Anyway, this is uh, what I brought with me today is called a Clodney plate. Okay. Clod uh, named after Ernst Clodney. A uh, German physicist, uh, sometimes regarded as the father of acoustics. Ooh. What he discovered is if he, back in the day, this is back in the 1780s, he would take a violin bow and run it past the edge of a plate, would had some sand or some things sprinkled on it, and it would make these really cool patterns like this. Ah. So what's happening here, most people have seen it, like if you take a string, tie it to a doorknob, and then start shaking the string up mm -hmm. and down. If you do it at just the right frequency, you'll end up with these fixed patterns. You'll end up with places where the string isn't vibrating, those are called nodes, and places where the string's vibrating like crazy, those are called antinodes. Okay. Now, that's a one-dimensional application. This is two dimensions. So we're taking this middle plate, we're shaking it up and down from the middle, and we're making these really wonderful patterns. But those patterns will change depending, depending on the frequency. On, oh. So I'm not going to leave it up at volume very long because it's really annoying. But uh, you can see, I think I can clean that up just a little bit. And if we keep on going. Oh, my gosh. These really cool patterns. Now, you get no to kidding. sprinkle more sand okay. on there. Like you said, shake it like a salt shaker. So why, is these, why do these patterns form? That's okay, I'll do that. <laughs> Why these patterns form is because we're getting that same thing. We're getting any place where the, there's no sand, that's the antinodes. That's where the plate is going oh. up and down, up and down. And the places, the lines in between, those are the nodes. And so all the sand, because it's not moving, all the sand just collects there. Whatever sand doesn't get bounced all over the studio. Yeah. Um, there are about, I'm told about 18 different patterns you can get this way. Um, we're not necessarily going to go through every single no. one, but it's, <laughs> some of them get quite complicated. I'm going to try at least one more. I'll get up into higher frequencies because they get really complicated. That's a pretty one. Yeah. Of course, the higher we go in frequency, the more annoying this gets. It's like extended fingers on a chalkboard. No kidding. We'll try one more. Well, see if you can sprinkle a little more of that sand on there. All right. Let's get a little thin. Okay. Let's try that. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's pretty. That there. is so neat. Be a nice pattern for your bathroom tiles. There you go. Um, so, yeah, there's not much use for these anymore. Back right. in the day, though, they did use these, uh, something like this, to do things like tuning violins, like the back plate of a violin. Okay. They would do that same technique, and you could see where the vib how the back plate would vibrate to see where they're going to get uh, pleasant vibrational nodes to make pretty music. Uh, these days we use more sophisticated techniques, but still, it's just a really fun demonstration of sound and how sound can vibrate things. Very cool. Well, thanks so much, Mike. And you got all this information on your guys' website, correct? Um, some of it, of course, you can always find this. There's tons and tons of information okay. on the internet, but uh, yeah, look around. Uh, the, the trick is it's not spelled like it's pronounced. <laughs> Claudine, Cla Claudine, there's a C-H, not a K up front, okay? Right. That'll be the fun part. All Figure right. that one out. Thanks very much, Mike. We will be right back. Mm -hmm. All right. It's Ball, Wisconsin Day.